Hello fellow coffee botherers. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Nespresso machines. And in particular, I'm gonna be answering these Nespresso machine related questions. One, are Nespresso machines a good option? Two, what kind of Nespresso machine should you go for? And three, which are the best Nespresso machines? So to jump into the first question, are Nespresso machines a good option? In my opinion, yes, if, you want small espresso sized coffees, you want the best possible taste and variety at this kind of price point, and you like Nespresso coffee, and you're not fussed about freshly ground coffee. I say small espresso sized coffees because that's what Nespresso original is about. The coffee it makes are all different espresso, espresso ratios. Espresso, Lungo, some of them do ristretto. Again, it's all espresso style coffee. Yes, you can add water to one for a bigger coffee, but we're talking very small doses. So if you want in a 10 to 12 ounce cup and you want reasonably strong coffee, you might have to reload, meaning use more than one pod. The great thing about original Nespresso though, is there's a massive amount of compatible pods, thanks to Jewelit, who had the guts to fight a very scary David and Goliath legal battle. And if you want them cheap, you can get them really, really cheap. Talking about taste and variety, these two go hand in hand because there's so much variety out there with so many firms now supplying compatible pods, including roasters. You're bound to be able to find pods you love the taste of. When I talk about liking Nespresso coffee, I'm not talking about the taste of the coffee itself. As I've mentioned, there's a huge Huge amount of variety thanks to the all the compatible pods on top of the Nespresso range which is also pretty big. I'm talking about Nespresso coffee as a brew method. Nespresso isn't espresso, it's really its own unique brew type and Nespresso original is similar to espresso but it's not quite the same. It's slightly more mellow in terms of intensity compared to espresso. And I'm not meaning to put Nespresso down there. Actually, I think Nespresso coffee probably better matches the palette of the mainstream or most of the mainstream coffee drinking market than traditional espresso, which is probably why Nespresso is so flipping successful. I'm just saying if you're a traditional espresso lover, you might want to try an espresso before buying one because Nespresso isn't traditional espresso. Regarding fresh coffee, the coffee in pods isn't freshly ground. Although if you buy them from a speciality roaster, they'll probably be fresher usually than buying pods from a supermarket, for example. But original Nespresso machines are even more quick and convenient than Super Auto or Beats Cup Espresso machines. They're much cheaper, usually, and there's a huge amount of variety where pods are concerned, as I've said. So I do think they're a great option for anyone who doesn't have the budget for a bean to cup machine and who isn't too fussed about using fresh coffee beans. By the way, I do realise that pod machines are regarded as worse for the environment, but there are an increasing number of fully recyclable and even compostable pods on the market now. Number two, which type of Nespresso machine should you go for? And I'm answering this question because I've heard from quite a few people who thought they were buying Nespresso Original who ended up with the newer Nespresso Virtuo machines. Personally, and this is just my personal preference, I wouldn't want a Virtuo machine. I don't like them. I really do like Original Nespresso. I think they're mega convenient, they're fast, the machines are generally quite reliable and durable given the cost, and I think the coffee is pretty good as long as you find pods that you like. And as I've said, that shouldn't be a problem as there's so much choice out there. The Virtuo machines though are a slightly different story. What these are mainly about are bigger volume pods, the big mug size pods and the carafe pods. This is the big difference between Virtuo and Nespresso Original. If you want short espresso style coffee then I don't know why, why anyone would go with the new Virtuo over Nespresso Original really because you're locked into using only Nespresso pods because there are no compatibles yet. If you want bigger mugs just keep in mind that the bigger mug pods and the carafe pods, in my humble opinion, are more like Americano than anything else. So if you prefer filter and you were thinking that the carafe pods would deliver this kind of coffee, I'd recommend going to an espresso lounge and just tasting that coffee first to make sure you like it before buying one. Personally, I don't think Nespresso Virtuo is anywhere near as good as Nespresso Original. I don't like the way the pods are loaded. I don't like the weird noise it makes. I'm not a fan of the thick, weird crema foam it produces. I don't like the lack of machine choice and it lacks a huge variety that Nespresso Original has thanks to the compatible pods. Finally, to discuss which might be the best Nespresso machines. I'm talking Nespresso Original because there's really little choice anyway if you're buying an Nespresso Virtuo machine. And I will do another more in-depth video on this with the machines in front of me, but this is just a shorter overview video. So I'll just give you the four or five machines I'd be looking at now if I was thinking of buying an espresso machine. So Cities or Ascensa Mini, Grind One, Morning Coffee, 
or Sage Creatista. That's a short list. I personally would be looking at if we was looking at buying an espresso machine. And I'd say Cities or a Senza Mini as it depends on whether you're buying outright or if you're buying from the espresso with a subscription or, or directly without the subscription. If you're buying from the espresso, the Cities is joint cheapest along with the Pixie and the Cities is a better value machine. Slightly bigger water tank. It feels and looks better quality in my opinion. So I'd go with the Cities personally if I was going for a subscription and wanted the cheapest one. If I was buying outright though, at the moment there are some weird expensive prices online for the cheapest Nespresso machines and the best value one I can see is the Ascensa Mini which you should be able to get for about £95 and I think that's great value. Grind One is a really interesting machine from Grind in London and I will get hold of one of these very soon and review it. In the meantime this is the Grind One. As you can see, it looks cool. It has a niche zero style switch. It has a lever. It actually looks like an E61 Group espresso machine. It's actually really quite inexpensive. Unlike most Nespresso machines, it's not mostly plastic, it's stainless steel. And personally, if I was gonna spend a few hundred quid on an Nespresso machine, a Nespresso machine, this one would be on my shortlist. Okay, it's not the cheapest, and if I wanted the cheapest, I'd get the Ascensor for 95 quid, but still, it's not all that pricey, comparatively speaking. This is a morning Nespresso machine. This is about 350 pounds in the UK at the time of filming. Similar in dollars, I think about $370. But this is the Nespresso machine for home barista geekery. It has inbuilt scales, it gives you pressure profiles for each shot via the app. You can play around with all the brew settings for each pod or if you buy pods from one of the supported roasters, you can actually choose the profile from the roaster for that pod. It's very, very clever. And I'll put a link in the description to Lance Hedrick's video on this machine. It's definitely worth a watch if you're interested in the morning coffee Nespresso machine. And as I said, this machine would be on my shortlist if I was looking at buying an Nespresso machine. And finally, the Sage Creatista range, basically the Sage Bambino range, but for Nespresso. There are three machines in the range. The Plus and the Pro are the fanciest in terms of looks and controls. But for me, the Creatista Uno you know, is probably the most interested as it has the same core features as the others, including the steaming, the auto steaming one, but it's quite a bit cheaper. If you're buying one of these from Sage, it's worth dropping me an email if you're in the UK, because I do sometimes have discount codes to share and drop me an email to check kev at coffeeblog.co.uk. There are loads more Nespresso machines, of course, and I'll link below to my blog post on them, but I will be doing a video in the near future on various Nespresso machines, including the ones I've just mentioned. So there you go. If you were considering buying an Nespresso machine, hopefully you'll find this helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to click the like button. Thanks. It's a well-known fact that clicking the like button on any of my videos improves the taste of your coffee, and nine out of ten dentists would agree. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not click here to watch another one. Don't forget to become an official coffee brother. You need to click this image around here somewhere of my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.